the next thing I wanted to address is how things are looking on campus uh, for next week. Uh, now, the I expect that by the end of the day today or at the latest tomorrow, um, you'll be hearing about some different plans for next week. I've been um, advocating with the provost to uh, have a less restrictive uh, uh, policy for next week's classes, uh, but not yet back to fully in-person classes. We'll see, uh, it depends a lot on the results uh, that we're seeing from the testing. I can tell you that we have now the data from the past, um, for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday's test this week. And as you can see from the, um, the data shown here, there's one additional positive student that um, was identified on Wednesday. And um, so that's uh, not good news, but it's not nearly as concerning as the uh, 10 cases that were identified last week. So it's starting to look like uh, we had a, um, a cluster of cases that didn't seem to be related to each other. The contact tracing has not identified, you know, a, a super spreader event or anything like that. And as you can see from the model on the bottom of this, the uh, a number of cases we have on campus right now is still within the range. So the, those gray dots, those gray points, uh, the total number of cases we've had on campus um, is still within the range predicted by this model. And this version of the model is still what I would call the best case scenario. So we are not um, uh, overall for the whole semester out of the range of what we would expect based on uh, the model. But it is uh, concerning that we had such a cluster of cases. And so that's why I think the actions we've been taking were warranted and it looks like we reacted quickly enough to uh, contain any uh, potential spread. Uh, we'll know a lot more after we get uh, Thursdays and Fridays uh, results uh, from the testing. And then of course, everyone will be tested again next week. And so I'm hopeful that we'll be back uh, in person uh, for the classes that are in person uh, very soon. Uh, I don't know about on Monday, but we'll be uh, waiting to hear that announcement soon.